Welcome back live to Folsom Field. This day is made more amazing by the realization that just five years ago, CU finished their season 1-10. It's been a magical season to this point, encompassing the roller coaster of emotions. of coach Bill McCartney, their highest ranking since 1977. 2-0 oh here early in the year with wins over Texas and Colorado State. Coming up next, CBS Sports presents College Football. Buffalo is back on the Rome in the great plains of college football. Colorado is emerging as a force in the Big 8 Conference. They have a high-powered offense led by tailback Eric Bieniemy and a Houdini-like sophomore quarterback, Darian Hagan. This coupled with a relentless defense has the Buffalo faithful thinking of the Orange Bowl for the first time since 1977. are the main topic of conversation in Champaign, Illinois. The fight in the line eye haven't won in Pasadena in 25 years. But quarterback Jeff George may be the man to change that, especially after this last second winning touchdown pass against Southern California. So today, Big Ten battles Big Eight. It's Illinois and Colorado coming up on CBS. Colorado, CBS Sports welcomes you to our season premiere of College Football 1989. You could scan campuses all across our land and not find a more majestic setting for a university than right here at the foothills of the Rocky Mountains. Down below this breathtaking backdrop, today we'll witness a rugged showdown between 10th ranked Illinois and the 8th ranked Colorado Buffaloes. Bring in our sideline man again this year, John Dockery. days here at Colorado. The Buffaloes are a very talented team with a real shot at the Big A championship, but they are without their senior quarterback and leader, Salinesi, his locker empty as he battles inoperable stomach cancer. Healthy six months ago, and Essie now sits in the stands in a private box, hoping that somehow chemotherapy will produce a miracle. His teammates are part of this battle also. They wear a sal embroidered on their sleeves and have dedicated the season to him, and each day after practice, they kneel and pray that Sal will be okay. But more than anything, this Colorado football team would like to give the gift of a Big 8 championship ring and a trip to the Orange Bowl to their ailing friend and teammate. Third and long. He 
Keegan going long. Campbell is out there. He has it at the 35. And out of bounds at the 5. Jeff Campbell. He averaged over 30 yards a reception last year. He's a man who is known as being dangerous on a reverse. Hollyway play when Hagen was in the seventh grade. It was a Pop Warner game they both played in. Holloway was in the ninth grade. First and ten. Here's a pass from the enemy. MJ Nelson's down there. He'll score the touchdown for Colorado. Colorado team more or less going out for the toss. This is going to be an emotional group today. It's going to be hard to measure, like you said in the open, Dave, how the emotion will affect this CU team. There's been such an outpouring of affection towards the team and, and the family of Salinesi, everyone from President Reagan. Uh, last night in the team hotel, I ran into a couple of former Colorado State University players, now with the Seahawks, Kelly Stauffer and Harper LaBelle. They were coming by to give their best wishes and some flowers to Coach McCartney and the team. And uh, this is just going to be a powerful, emotional, especially at the start, football game. No doubt about it. I think the entire state of Colorado, and more than that, the nation has been touched by what's happened in Boulder this past week. And again, I don't think you'll be able to gauge as to how this team will respond until well into the second quarter. Uh, looked a little bit lethargic during the course of the week. The practice was not as good as you would have liked. Bill McCartney, of course, assumed that it might not be. But I think once the game starts, at least we hope that this team will come out and play the way that Salinesi would have hoped they would play. Colorado, that would be good football. Dave, Colorado won the toss. They'll receive. And here comes a moment of silence. For number eight, Salonesi. Six, Lewis is 20. That is Lewis in motion. Conklin to throw on first down. He's got time. And it's intercepted. Dean Yards for Hemingway as the Buffs are on the move. Big hole for the enemy. Eric breaks a tackle. A race to the corner. Touchdown. field goal kicker where they could get three points and it would be big because of what's happened that last drive by CU. Conklin and it's intercepted by Bruce Young. And Lewis running 20 seconds and counting third and goal. Flanagan touchdown. Hagan touchdown. Not in college football. I think pro football can beat him as bad as he can. Here's the reverse to Campbell. Just got some room down the sidelines. He's only got one man with a possible angle. Touchdown.
Coming up next, CBS Sports presents College Football. Nebraska football is 100 years old. In its glorious past, we've witnessed legendary coaches, national championships, and Heisman Trophy winners. It's a tradition of winning that only continues through the generations. Nebraska football is also unstoppable tailbacks, elusive quarterbacks. The Cornhuskers are uncompromising, and they are out to commemorate their centennial in style with a third national championship. Colorado shares the same anniversary, but not the same supreme history. Yes, Byron Wizard White once led them to a perfect season, but now they are pointing at number one for the first time ever at Colorado. The Buffaloes have been through an emotional season. They are focused and explosive, and they have leaped into the national spotlight with an undefeated season. Today, a berth in the Orange Bowl is on the line. It's the Big Eight Battle of the Year. Nebraska and Colorado coming up next. CFA Saturday, we bring you 25 miles due northwest of Denver to Boulder. Set against the Rocky Mountain Range, this rugged landscape is home to the University of Colorado. It's where the deer and Colorado buffaloes roam. It truly is a Rocky Mountain high, over a mile above sea level. And today there is something special in this rarefied air. It's a football showdown, third rank Nebraska, about to collide with second rank Colorado. And we welcome you live to the color of college football. The fans dressed in black and gold for Colorado and red for Nebraska. But at stake today, it's 100% pure orange. And good afternoon, everybody. I'm Jim Nance, and welcome to Folsom Field. You know, quite simply, there has never been a bigger football game in Colorado's 100-year history than this game today. You see, the Buffaloes and Huskers are tied for the lead in the Big 8. They each are 8-0 and on the season, ranked second and third in the country. The winner today will go to the Orange Bowl and probably play Notre Dame for the national championship. You know, here at Colorado, they refer to this as the red letter game. Everywhere you go, constant reminders that neighboring Nebraska is their biggest rival. However, in recent years, it's been a one-sided rivalry. Nebraska has won 20 of the last 21 years. But Pat Hayden, there are over 50,000 fans today who believe that that one-sided domination to the is right. about to end. And the audible by Hagen. He sets Parrott to the tight end, back on the right side. Play action. Hagen throwing, and it's intercepted. Yes, it's intercepted by the Cornhuskers' Tyrone Bird. Carpenter, the lone setback, behind Jerry Godowski, the quarterback. Looking pass, setting up a screen. They go to Carpenter. He gets away from Salavia and cuts back to the middle. He's got room inside the 40. Inside the 30, he's going to score. Nebraska on the first play of the day for Nebraska. 51 yards. Running the option on first down. Hagan has it. He has room. He's got one man to beat. Now he pitches to Flanagan, and he may take it all the way. Flanagan's in for the touchdown. Running right with Clark, no gain. Tackle by Arthur. As does Arthur Walker on that defensive line. Second and ten. Clark is going to be dropped by Williams for a loss. Five-yard loss, so it's third and fifteen. Nate Turner comes in as a receiver. Godowski hands off inside. Second time. The return man, Campbell, leads the Big 8 in punt returns. Short boot coming to midfield. Campbell will run right. Gets away from the wave. He's got room. Inside the 30. Out of bounds. Inside of the 5. The punter pushed it. First and goal from the 4. 
out of the power eye, running the option and going with Flanagan on the pitch. He is hunted down by Tyrone Bird for a goal goal. from the six. Hemingway in at fullback. Hagan will keep off right tackle. Gets to the one-yard line. And short yardage and goal line. Low man wins. Running the option. Hagan will keep. And he'll go in untouched. Goal from the 12 for the Cornhuskers. Godowski. For Gregory, touchdown Nebraska. He has kicked them 60 yards in practice. Hagan, no, he's not down. <laughs> Here he goes, Hagan. Wow. And he gets him in field goal range. He's <laughs> short of the first down. It was a gain of Officially, it's 49 yards. His career long is 52. His long of 89 is 47 yards. Culbertson has the distance. Has Tough it. position for uh, Jerry Godowski. Morgan Gregory to the left. Washington's the tight end tucked on the right side. Ooh, wow. An immediate give to the fullback and nowhere to go is Joel Steed and that whole line of Colorado. Swear to honor Salonesi. And the kick by Stiggy comes to Campbell at the 26. He has an opening. Here he goes, Jeff Campbell. He may break it. He is run down by Richard Bell. He saw Jamel first play in a Pop Warner game in the seventh grade. And Hagen running the option right this time. Keeping it and getting to the 10 yard. Derek, the enemy. The enemy putting the helmet on, yeah. Pat. He is a guy that's run the sweep this year with great ability. He's a guy, too, that Bill McCartney tells us inside the 10, he is so focused on yep. finding that end zone. They've never had a great competitor, as good a competitor, inside the 10-yard line as the enemy. And he can also throw. He's thrown for a touchdown this year against Illinois. Running the option, the 